Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today on my channel. My name is Dark Moon Doll, also known as Trina Sandress. Um, I wanted to share with you guys today um, this ever, <laughs> I guess this like everlasting uh, need for people to identify with uh, a certain age and limitations and what is expected of them when they turn certain ages like say 30 over 40 whatever I just want people to be able to realize that um, a lot of what you think plays out how your outer appearance starts to look, starts to change now, if you're telling yourself every day, I'm old, I can't wear my hair a certain way, I can't wear a certain type of makeup, I shouldn't wear makeup, or I should wear makeup because I am older, these are negative messages that go through a lot of people's minds when they reach certain ages. These thoughts that go through your mind are not your own. A lot of these thoughts are based on what friends and family tell you, uh, what you see on television, what you see in movies. Um, people are being influenced by outer forces. They're not being influenced by what's internally within themselves. Their intuition, you know, their higher self. People are getting easily influenced by these forces because they're not taking time out to reconnect with themselves and be alone and really uh, tap into who they are. There's a lot of people that are really sensitive. So sensitive that when someone says something to them, it affects them in a profound way. So even if they don't innately believe in what that person is saying, they will go out of their way in order to change and reflect that reality that this person is saying that you should project. This is incorrect for you if you want to um, move into a space where you can feel uh, good within who you are, within the person that you are naturally, and not based on outside interferences trying to dictate uh, how you should be depending on your age. I've met a lot of uh, people that are younger than me that have a lot of wisdom and have a lot of information that I never even heard of. When you start to limit yourself this way, you start to age. Your mind picks up on, and your body and your soul picks up on all of these negative words that you give yourself every single day. If you could just take a section of your day out to get away from negative influences and just get back in tuning into who you are then you realize that when people act like this, when they get to the point where they're saying, I'm old, you know, and that's why I look like this. I'm old, and that's why I can't do this. I mean, when you see people doing that, you don't have to engage in it if you don't want to. I used to feel like I had to, like, go along with it. Yeah, you're right. I am, you know, over 40, so I should be, uh, you know, dealing with, this specific issue or element. That's not necessarily true. When you take that time out and get away from all the chatter, all of the uh, media, everything that you see within the world in your daily life that can bring you down, when you come back home to yourself and are able to just relax. And just really understand that 
this world that you live in is a world that you create it yourself within the thoughts that are in your mind. It's based on emotions and feelings. You can project a whole reality based on that. You get so immersed in that reality that you believe that it's real. And that is also because you don't find any time to come out and just unwind. So many people are going to and fro, running this place and that place, and that can cause a lot of dis-ease in the body. That's what dis disease is. It's a dis-ease in the body. And I go even further, it's a dis-ease in the body, mind, and soul. Slowing down for at least like 10 or 15 minutes a day can really do wonders for the way that you see the world, the way you perceive the world. Take walks outside by yourself in nature. Look at the wonders of the world. Flowers everywhere. The bees going inside the flowers to feed themselves, pollinating flowers one by one. Um, I'm, I'm looking at a squirrel that's slowly going across the phone line. <laughs> you know, and these are just wonderful things that happen every day uh, out in nature. <clears throat> but we don't make the time to do that. And when we get to the point where we're just going and going and going all the time, our mind doesn't know which way to go. You know, we we figure, oh, we'll just go with what everybody is saying. You know, I'm over 40 years old. I'm supposed to have uh, hypertension, high blood pressure, uh, all these ailments, and I have to take these certain pills because this is what I have because I'm old. That is just mainly. all in your mind. <laughs> it is because uh, people can be easily influenced by everything that's around them. People, other people mainly, they can be influenced by. I just want to offer up a suggestion for everybody out there that's listening right now and feeling this way like, oh I feel old when you wake up. Oh I, got, I feel so old. I got these aches. I got these pains. Maybe try one day in the morning waking up, and if you hear those thoughts, imagine them like being pushed aside, or even erased, like like chalk <laughs> on a chalkboard. Thoughts being just erased. That. That's what I've been doing. Is whenever I see something that I know that's not, it's negative. It's not me. I see that thought. I erase it, like it's on a chalkboard, and I insert what it is that I know is true about me. That's the key to healing yourself, is changing your thoughts. You could go and get all kinds of massage therapy, um, what other kind of modalities of uh, healing that you go and search out for, but when it comes down to it, it all starts with inside your mind and what you're willing to allow to happen, the healing, you know. I. I'm no stranger to this. I'm living on this earth and I'm encountering, you know, everyday situations as well. Yeah, you know, I deal with, you know, having to think about paying for the bills. I get <laughs> notices from AARP in the mail and all this kind of stuff. But, you know, like chalk on a race, erase it off. Any negative thoughts that you think about that. It's just a way of society trying to make you feel like you have to be a certain way based on your age and you don't. You know, oh, I can't wear this tank top. It's just too, you know, it's too risque. I can't wear this jewelry because it looks too busy and whatever. I can't wear my hair like this. You know, it's just like it's an endless dialogue in your mind of shoulds and should nots. 
all these things are not detrimental to you. I mean, um, I create art every day and it makes me feel really good inside and it gets rid of all the negative chatter. You know, oh, you shouldn't be making dolls, you're an adult. What are you doing making dolls? My dolls are art, okay? It's creativity, it's stress relieving also, and um, it's just fun. And it gets me out of those uh, unnecessary dialogues about what I'm expected to be doing because I'm a certain age. So I hope you guys find this helpful in any way and realize that every day when you wake up, try to find like, try to try to find things that you feel are good about you, things that you like, things that make you feel good and, and joyful. Because when you think about it, when people try to figure out what can I do to make myself feel younger, this is what you do. You do things that make you happy. This is what you do. You take time out for yourself every day. No matter what you got to do. Even if you have a lot of kids or whatever. You got to go somewhere, close the bathroom door, and sit down and draw or meditate or write in a journal. You got to find that time for yourself. And that's what keeps the youthfulness going within yourself. Within yourself. That's what happens. That's what helps. And if you want somebody who always, like, thinks that they're old and all this and saying all that, tune that out. That's their thing, okay? That's their thing. I've learned that personally because I want to be able to tell people, uh, no, don't think like that. You're not that old. You're not old at all. It's all, you know, in your mind. But here's the thing. You can't convince somebody of something that they really don't believe you can't convince someone who doesn't believe in something that you're trying to show them that, you know, it's all in your mind. This is just a head game that you're playing with yourself. If, if people aren't receptive to that message, then just don't keep badgering them. Just let them live their life. Everybody has their own individual path to follow. But if it's your path to try to find out who you are, um, get in touch with yourself. You know, spend that time. You are deserving of that.